Have you ever met someone um, who seems to be happy, even though they shouldn't be? I mentioned earlier the Filipinos um, in my video are happy people, stupid. They're very poor, they live in a violent and corrupt and backward country, and yet they're among the world's happiest people because they have a very positive outlook in the world. They're almost um, irrationally optimistic. Uh, that's just, that's a cultural thing. I'll um, bring it down to more the personal level in this video. Have you ever met someone who seems to have been dealt a very bad deal in life, a very bad hand rather, um, and still seems to make some, um, still seems to be doing quite well in the poker game that is life? In other words, they seem to have a good enough attitude and their life seems to be within the boundaries of their limitations uh, to be making a good go of it. They seem to be happy. For example, somebody who is disabled. We've all met, perhaps, well, most of us I'm sure have met, the person who probably has a, uh, a good reason not to feel all that happy about uh, the way that, they, that their life has turned out in a purely physical sense, i.e. they're blind, they're confined to a wheelchair, quadriplegic, etc., whatever you want to say. Um, they might have a terribly painful condition or something like that. Um, these people are kind of a poster boy for rah, 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 uh, hooray life. And a lot of the religious type people who want to feed us the pap about life is good um, often tend to overdo it on these sorts of people. But we know that these people do exist. Um, and I'm not going to compare such people to myself, but what I like to do is make comparisons between a happy disabled person and a not so happy disabled person, um, and uh, not uh, I'm not comparing. I'm not. I don't. I don't want to look like I'm having the temerity of saying that. See, um, this disabled person is happy, therefore disability is not a bad thing. No, 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 not at all. What I would like to do is I would like to say what is the aspect that separates the happy disabled person from the unhappy disabled person, even if their their disabilities are identical. Well, I mentioned again in a in an, another video <laughs> that um, depression is in many cases just relentless and crushing guilt. There's another aspect of depression and um, it's an unhealthy, unrealistic and um, I would say even um, distorting, personality distorting uh, degree of envy. When I was depressed, I think I was pretty much overwhelmed with envy. Um, there were rich people everywhere who had everything. I had nothing. There were people with a well-adjusted view of the world. I couldn't cope with it enough to uh, get out the front door to go to work every day. Um, there were people who just seemed to breeze through life, who had the gorgeous babe on their arm and a big car and a, you know all the stuff that um, Richard Corey had. Um, and um, I didn't have any of this. And the torture that one feels, particularly the subconscious stuff, you're bugged endlessly by the gorgeous women walking around everywhere. Um, and the envy becomes insufferable. Envy is a much undervalued or under-feared uh, state in our society. It's a state that can drive you out of your mind, I think. Um, and... Uh, it's been my experience that people who are dealt a bad um, hand in life, i.e. disabled or otherwise disadvantaged individuals, often have um, an unhealthy form of envy. And I'm not going to judge them for that. Who the hell am I to judge somebody who's got far less than I do for being envious of, not me really, but envious of others? Well, what I would like to do is to compare that person to someone else who does seem happy. This person seems to have manage to avoid the powerful envy that might affect another disabled person. Um, and this person has managed to make the most of what they've got, not by um, worrying or harping on the bad things, but by understanding that the bad things are a fact of life and then moving on. Uh, this is just a value judgment or my assessment of people that, that I've met in my life. I don't really have a heck of a lot to go on in this particular case. But what I do say is envy is something that distorts your perception of reality to an extent that it, like depression, um, can overcome your reason. 
it can overcome logic. It can overcome. It's, it's something that acts on you in a very, very, very uh, animalistic, saurian sort of level, and it's uh, it's playing with your mind. Um, in a way that you can't really get at because it seems logical that you, who's got all these problems and, and has the deck stacked against you, have every right to feel envious and to feel hard done by by life. That I'm, I won't dispute that for a second. There are people out there who have every right to feel envy and feel somewhat bitter about their situation. But there are other people out there who are just like them, who don't have that problem, who don't succumb to that sort of thing. Why do we think that envy has been included in the in the uh, lexicon, or sorry, in the uh, concordance compendium of our collective cultures as a very bad thing? Uh, the human race generally says envy is horrible um, because of what it can do to you, not because of what it can then get you to do to other people because you're envious, but because of what it's doing to you, to the person who is suffering from envy. If you've ever suffered from acute envy, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, from the point of view of antinatalism, I suppose what it is is uh, a lot of people severely resent anyone else having a positive attitude in life because of the negative attitude that is possible, that one could actually draw a, uh, a negative conclusion about life if one chooses to do that. Um, the, an examination of the evidence could, I concede, go in that direction. It could lead to one concluding that life is horrible. What do you do about those people out there who are happy about it and who seem to be breezing through life? I think that it's almost expecting way too much of any human being who has a totally bleak view of life not to envy somebody on some level who does have a very positive and happy and seemingly breezy view of life. And that envy um, can turn to hatred. And I'm not saying that anyone actually acts on this. Even if it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. That envy is still destroying the person who has it. And the reason why I say that envy is something uh, of, a, of a form of insanity, like the other negative emotions is, you're envying someone even though you don't know what it's like to be them. Do you know what Richard Corey's life was like? No, but we all envied the guy. He had everything. He had the babes. He had the champagne. He had the yachts. He had the big houses and the parties and everything, the money, all of that. And he went home last night and put a bullet through his head. Uh, we don't know what... That, guy's, that guy did not have a life that was worth envying. And yet people will still envy people that they know are unhappy and miserable. I wish I had his problems. No, you don't. Um... You don't know what that guy's problems are, regardless of what he looks at, looks like from the outside. That's envy for you. It's the ultimate distortion. And again, envy is not really uh, a danger to those who are envied. It's a danger to people who are envying. Thank you.